Hey folks, today I'm diving into the murky waters of Zimbabwe's election equipment scandal. Grab your popcorn because this is a wild ride through bureaucracy, corruption, and some seriously questionable contracts. So let's set the stage. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, or ZEC, spent a whopping 5 million US dollars on digital V11 display boxes for the August 2023 elections. That's a lot of cash, right? But here's the kicker. These devices were delivered months late, and get this, they remain unused. Yep, you heard that right, unused. Now, these digital display boxes were supposed to showcase election results. Sounds high-tech and all, but their necessity is, well, a bit questionable. Why spend millions on light boxes when there are other pressing needs, right? This dubious purchase was handled by a South African company called Renform CC, and the deal was brokered by none other than businessman Wicknell Chivayo. If you've heard his name before, it's probably not in a good context. Chivayo has a bit of a reputation, to put it mildly. So, what's the big issue here? Well, it's alleged that the prices for these display boxes were grossly inflated. We're talking major overpricing. And there are whispers, no, more like shouts, about bribes being involved to secure this contract. Enter the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, or ZASI. They've launched an investigation into the whole fiasco. It's a tangled web of contracts, kickbacks, and some seriously shady dealings. To paint a clearer picture, let's talk numbers. Spending over $5 million on equipment that's essentially gathering dust? That's a hard pill to swallow for a country with so many other needs. Schools, hospitals, infrastructure, you name it, there are better uses for that money. And what about the timing? The equipment was supposed to be ready for the August 2023 elections. But thanks to delays, it wasn't. This raises serious questions about the efficiency and intentions of those involved. Critics argue that this is just another example of misuse of public funds. It's a story we've heard before, but it never gets any easier to digest. Corruption scandals like this undermine public trust and make it harder for legitimate needs to be met. As the ZAC digs deeper, we're all left wondering, will justice be served? Will those responsible be held accountable? Or will this be another case swept under the rug? One thing is clear. This scandal has put a spotlight on the urgent need for transparency and accountability in Zimbabwe's governance. It's a call to action for citizens and watchdog groups to keep pushing for answers and reforms. So stay tuned, folks. This story is far from over. I'll keep you updated as more details emerge. Until then, keep questioning, keep pushing for transparency, and let's hope for a brighter, corruption-free future. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into stories that matter. Catch you next time.